Hi everybody, welcome to the Shot Clock. Alongside Nick Pecoro, I'm Mark Fowler. And let's talk a little Diamondbacks baseball and start the clock. Nick, you're back from the road trip with the Diamondbacks. That was not everything that Diamondbacks fans hoped it would be. Yeah, I think everybody was expecting a little bit more than a five and four road trip against three last place teams. They did salvage that last game in San Diego. Um, and you know, you look at it compared to the Dodgers, they actually gained a couple games on them. The scary part is that the Rockies are coming up right behind them. They're a half game out. I think the Rockies gained three games on them during that trip. Um, you know, as you look at it right now, they're still in first place. It's not, there's nothing to regret at the moment, but as this schedule gets really tough in September, you know, don't be surprised if we're looking back on this trip and thinking like, oh man, they should have won two or three more games. And they are back home now to start a series with the Angels tomorrow. Uh, Angels probably won't have Mike Trout uh, still on the disabled list. But the bigger fish to fry for the Diamondbacks is winning more games at home. Their record at home is just slightly over 500. What do you make of that? I don't know. Uh, it's actually kind of confusing. I've, I've looked at it. I, I think that they've lost a lot of one-run games. I want to say they're 6-10 and ten in one-run games at home, which kind of tells you they're just kind of on the wrong end of the coin flip sometimes. Um, I, I think another thing to keep in mind is that Paul Goldschmidt has gone through some long stretches at home like during home stands where he just hasn't swung the bat the way that he you know, does most of the time. Um, if they can get him going again at the plate or you know, I'm, not that he hasn't hit at Chase Field at any point this season, but if he can hit the way that he has, uh, you know, it can really make a difference, I think. Uh, the last thing we'll talk about is kind of this all or nothing of the Diamondbacks offense. They have made uh, a lot of hay, scoring a lot of runs early and then disappearing for long stretches of the game. Uh, what do you make of that? <laughs> I, I don't know either. It's a thing I explored in the story earlier uh, during the previous road trip. It just seems like they struggle against relief pitching. Um, they, they seem to do great against the other team's starters. Once they get into the bullpen, it's all quiet. Won't be quiet at Chase Field starting Tuesday. That's all the time we have on the shot clock right now. Have a great day, everybody.